We don't have a tariff act in Europe, but there is certainly a lot of interest, Sandra, around the introduction of mandatory human rights due diligence legislation and the potential for that to be a game changer for corporate accountability. Um, do you see that as, as having potential for litigation in coming years? Well, I think a European legislation on mandatory human rights due diligence could be a um, useful tool um, for strategy litigation, obviously, but provided is response to victims' need. And at the moment, the discussion essentially takes place from the perspective of companies and under the so-called Sustainable Corporate Governance Initiative. Hence, the current focus on due diligence, processes, governance, guidelines. And for us, obviously, corporate impunity is not due to a lack of processes or guidelines. It's due to a lack of accountability or liability. Um, so for an effective European duty of vigilance, we need first to go beyond the French law. So meaning reverse the burden of proof, which still rests on the claimants. Whereas companies are better placed to establish why the risk in question could not have been foreseen or why they could not have prevented the damage from occurring in their value chain. So that's need to be done. The second thing is also to extend the scope of application with regard to the company concern. And companies need to see duty of vigilance as more than a mere obligation to put processes in place and as an obligation to force companies to adopt and effectively implement all measures necessary to identify risk. We would also need to strengthen existing liability regime and provide for criminal liability as a legal person. So I would not really call the future legislation a game changer as major hurdles to successful litigation would still remain. And we've mentioned that, that also in the first uh, question is extraterritorial jurisdiction. The liability regime also don't take into account the reality of corporation operation as they don't challenge the corporate veil and also the unequal balance between association or NGOs and economic actors. And I'm not uh, there uh, only speaking about the financial imbalance, but also the fact that in the fabric itself of the norms, um, it has been influenced by corporation and the so-called corporate capture. Uh, even today, we're speaking about due diligence, you know, or self-regulation, non-financial performance, best practices, CSR. Um, so, these all uh, imbalance need to be uh, taken into consideration if we want uh, an appropriate legislation and also the imbalance of access to evidence. And there are too many issues that I think we should pay attention to is the standing or admissibility of association. Um, there has been a restrictive movement in recent years, both in legislation and in case law, and it's really a, a, an issue of uncertainty for NGOs, and it is, it is a case uh, for Sherpa in Lafarge and the Samsung case. And the, the second thing we need to take uh, um, also to pay attention with is the SLAP, you know, strategy litigation against public participation or judicial policy of intimidation, because uh, there is an increasing attempt to silence voices to speak out against corporate activities, uh, not only against human rights defenders or NGOs, but journalists, whistleblower, and on a, on a variety of legal grounds. And these practices harm the general interest by preventing democratic debate and by clogging up the court and harm to individual and association who find themselves financially cornered, you know, and deprived of freedom of expression. And it has impacted Sherpa also uh, and some of our, uh, you know, um, communities that we defend. And in Vinci, the case I mentioned earlier, I mean, Vinci has used, uh, you know, slap uh, six times against Sherpa for one case that we brought against them. The, so I do see potential for litigation encouraging improvement of workers' rights and situation, um, but it needs to be uh, really uh, worked on and maybe also dig into the, the audit sector. So, so I'm hearing that there is potential for um, progress, but uh, activists and NGOs and others need to be very closely engaged to, um, to ensure we have a, an appropriate due diligence regime um, and in the meantime, pay attention to actions to punish NGOs for bringing cases, which is not mm -hmm. just uh, restricted to France and, and Europe, but happens elsewhere. I know this means appalling cases in Thailand and and I assume happens um, all over the place.